check, check. Hey, one, two, check, check. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm your boy, David Scott Bowles. On today's episode, we're talking about something that um, I think is coming back. There's a huge, like, um, revival, let's say, of 35 millimeter film. And I'm talking about my favorite film camera on this episode. And that right now is the Canon Elon 7. This thing is absolutely amazing. I just got back from a trip from Japan. I'm gonna post some photos right now from that trip. So this trip was actually something that I've been working on for the last five years. I've been going to Japan for, I think this was my fifth trip there. This one was actually special because I actually got paid to go by one of my sponsors, Pro Prince. Shout out to Pro Prince. Thank you guys so much for sending me on this trip. Um, I've been working on a photo book from my travels to Japan. Japan has been a country that I have been in love with for so long. And I took my first trip there about five years ago and it was just kind of more of a family vacation and I fell in love with it and I said, you know what? I wanna make a book on my travels to Japan. The title of the book is called Shinzo. It's coming out next year sometime. I'm still working on everything. Um, but here are some images again from that trip. I took this camera as well. I mean, you guys know I'm a Sony camera, like a Sony fanboy to the day I die. I know I've jumped around camera brands, but right now I'm shooting this on the Sony a7R 5, and then I have the Sony a7 IV up there for that top angle. Um, but Canon, I mean, you can't go wrong with Canon. And you know, I see a lot of film photographers and they use cameras like, hold on, like this guy. All right, so I've seen people use cameras like this. This is a more mechanical film camera. And this one's actually has some cool digital features as well. Like the light meter is really easy to read. Um, this is another favorite camera of mine, though it has no autofocus, it's all manual focus. And I'm actually a blind photographer and it is uh, just difficult for me to grab focus. So a lot of the times I'm shooting that thing at like a high aperture, like, f22 just so i can get focus um but yeah let's let's go back and talk about this camera that we're talking about here so the canon elon 7 has a cool feature that's actually out in a camera right now the canon r3 which is eye control so this camera right here has eye control which is just absolutely insane for a camera of this time to have something like that Eye control is the ability to basically be able to focus using your eye. I've never used it on this camera. Um, it, it's a little slow. I mean, the autofocus in this camera is just a little slow in general, but it's there if you want it. Um, it also has, uh, let's see, let's turn it on real quick. So that is about five frames a second. Um, but the images and actually paired with this lens, this pancake, this is a 40 millimeter 2.8 pancake lens. This is how I rock this camera everywhere I go. I don't put another lens on it. I haven't put another lens on it. This lens is the only lens that I have for this camera because like I said, I'm a Sony shooter and I do not own any other Canon products other than this and a Canon selfie printer. Um, but I would love to actually do some portraits with this lens with an 85 or something like that. Um, this 40 is seriously amazing. It works perfect for like street photography or travel photography, all that. I did do some portraits with it recently just to kill a roll. And if I have those prints back from the lab by the time I post this video, I will add them into this video. But if not, I will add some images that I've taken in the past from weddings with this camera. So you could check out the image quality. My favorite film stocks right now, especially for portraits, are Cine Still 800T and then good old Kodak Portra 800. Those are probably by far my favorite. I love to shoot wide open. I also love to shoot at fast shutter speeds. So I love having that higher film ISO um, to be able to achieve that look. I do want to play with some Kodak Gold. Um, shout out to Peter McKinnon. He's been shooting a lot of Kodak Gold and I just love what it looks like. I actually shot a panorama image 
with Cine Still 800. And a friend of mine asked me if it was gold, but it just happened to be golden hour. And I was shooting Osaka Castle. This is the image right here. And it just happened to come out like super gold. And he was curious if I used Kodak Gold. I was like, no, I don't think I've ever shot anything lower than, actually, no, I lie. Ektar 100 is another one of my favorites, but that's like there, I don't use, I don't shoot it a lot. I mostly shoot, like I said, the 800 Kodak Portra or 800 Cine Still. But yeah, so 2024, I plan on doing a lot of film photography, um, especially on this channel. I'll be showing you guys some BTS scenes, uh, BTS videos using this camera specifically. Um, and let's just talk about 2024. I mean, guys, we are just days away right now till 2024. And this year honestly just flew by crazy. A lot of great things happened for me and my business this year. I grew my wedding business. I started working for another studio as well um, called Symbol and I shoot photo and video for them. I absolutely love it. I think I shot like close to 60 something weddings this year, which is insane. Going into 2024, something I really wanna do is just spend more time on my content and building myself as a brand. So the YouTube channel, the Instagram, maybe I'll dive into TikTok. I just can't figure it out. I can't figure out that that algorithm. I, I get no love on TikTok. So uh, maybe I will try to dive back into that. But as you guys know, if you're new here or you know me personally, I had a YouTube channel for years. I had no growth and I completely scratched the channel. I think I had like 100 subscribers. So I scratched the channel. I started over from scratch, hoping that I can revitalize that YouTube algorithm. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. But 2024, you guys are going to see some behind the scenes videos. You're gonna see some vlogs. You can see some product reviews. You can see a lot of film photography. And um, that's pretty much it. If there's anything else you guys wanna see me do, um, just don't ask me to do any sort of TikTok dance or anything like that. I'm, I'm not about that life. But <laughs> if, if there's anything you wanna see me do, whether it's, you know, behind the scenes or, you know, maybe some education stuff, learn how to, you know, use off camera lights, that sort of thing, then uh, put it down in the comments below and I will comment back and I'll work on a video for that. In 2024, in March, I will be speaking at one of the largest portrait and wedding photographer conferences called WPPI. I'm super excited. I'm leading a photo walk based off off camera flat base off off camera wow that's a lot of words i'm leading a photo walk on off camera flash so we're actually talking about high speed sync and creating cinematic images using high speed sync so if you're into that sort of thing go check out wppi i believe my class is getting ready to sell out so um go get over there get the early bird pricing all that stuff see you guys in march i have some collabs with some amazing youtubers and other content creators coming up as well so uh yeah that's it again thank you guys as always i'll see you in the next one peace